Uh, hello, uh, good evening, good day, good morning, wherever you guys are. Today is February 22nd. Uh, we have a great set of presentations today, so stay tuned. But I will quickly run through a couple important announcements. Let me see. Okay. So as usual, we'll do some community highlights. Uh, one of the, the important announcement is we are in collaboration with MLOps community. We are running this thing called as Engineering Labs. Uh, we already have a large number of people registered. We would encourage a lot of anybody else to register. I think today is the deadline uh, for that. But once you register, uh, the idea here is to write some general purpose ML um, uh, app using flight and Union AI is sponsoring the hosted flight environment for most people here. So yeah, just definitely join in, uh, you know, learn, have fun, and also win prices. And more details for this are on flight.org. Um, if you're going to take, if you're going to participate in this, definitely join Flight Slack or Evolop Slack. And uh, the goal is the, the hackathon will run for a month and you can participate in teams or individuals. Most people are working in teams. Um, lots of uh, other fun stuff happening uh, within the flight ecosystem. Um, so Latch uh, just released an SDK for bio, um, bioinformatics or bioengineering style workflows. Um, and like we, we got featured in a few places. So thank you for the community, you know, helping us evangelize the product. We want to continue doing this, as we have said that this year, we want to make it really, really grow faster. Um, this office hours has been getting more and more popular. So, but most people don't know when the office hours or how to reach uh, there. The office hours, uh, the best way to find an invite for the office hour is to go to fight.org community tab. And in the community tab, you'll see for uh, this event, which is the OSS sync. Um, you can basically the community sync, you can add a calendar invite from there or for the office hours. The office hours, again, as a reminder, is on when, every Wednesday, 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening Pacific time. Um, you can choose the one you uh, want to attend. And you know, the idea is we don't do any kind of presentations or anything there. It's more of a Q&A, um, design discussions, use case discussions, uh, proposals, etc. cetera. Um, like one or two of the, uh, at least some folks from union as well as some other teams are present over there to answer any questions. So please join. Okay, uh, following up to this thing, uh, next, uh, I think it's two weeks from now, so March 8th, is uh, we'll be diving deep into Latch Bio and how they use Flight. Um, and essentially, they've built an amazing platform on top of Flight that allows uh, bioinformatics workflows to be created from the browser and run from the browser. So uh, it's, it's really, cool stuff that uh, the Latch team is doing. And, and they'll be coming and sharing uh, all of their learnings, uh, their, uh, demoing their examples and so on. We'll also uh, do a type of a lightning talk. Katrina from uh, Union will be presenting life of a workflow. Uh, the goal is to actually get uh, contributors as well as users to understand how does a workflow progress from writing the code to actual uh, execution and beyond. Again, calendar and write, and, and uh, I think some folks asked, uh, are these things recorded? Yes, they are recorded There's a YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Um, all the details for this are on flight.org community tab. Um, and, and if you miss something, then we do also do a flight monthly newsletter. Um, Sandra has been doing a fantastic job with the newsletter. Please subscribe to the newsletter. All right, uh, quick uh, look into what's coming up. Uh, roadmap, we are working on a bunch of things. These are just some call outs. Um, I think we've talked about them in the past, but uh, just as a reminder, uh, a huge ask 
one of the most wanted features, you know, map task overhaul. Uh, this is uh, to support retries within map task, caching, concurrency control, secrets, etc. All of that is slated for uh, this month. And Dan has been driving a lot of work on this. So thank you. Um, AWS batch task is uh, it was always supported for map like the array tasks, but now you can also do AWS batch tasks for regular tasks. So you can still use Kubernetes, but you know, offload things, whatever you want onto AWS Batch. Um, and, and then so what has been happening recently is people have been modifying like plugins to support new default pod features that you want to add to a single container. Uh, we, uh, after working with a bunch of folks, we, we've uh, moving to a concept of pod templates uh, Kubernetes has pod templates. So you basically create a pod template with all your defaults, and it's like a webhook that automatically adds all of these defaults into your launched container. So Flight will handle uh, merging them together and launching them. Um, on from the Flight Kit side, a lot of fun stuff happening. One uh, most important one that we've been focusing on is Flight Kit Remote uh, GA. Um, it may it may slip a little bit into uh, March, uh, but uh, out of that, one of the interesting things that's happening is config overhaul. Like uh, we've been going through, and as you've seen, we've deleted some old code. Uh, we are also completely overhauling the config. Uh, this might be a small breaking change. We're trying to minimize any kind of breaks as we always do, but. Um, we actually did a poll internal uh, poll with the folks and we realized that people are okay. This doesn't break your runtime, anything in runtime. This only breaks registration, if at all. Uh, if you are using certain, you know, unsupported config values, but most of the values, most people should not see any kind of breaks. Um, and the goal with this is that you should be able to register directly from FlightKit Remote. Um, and I think Fabio will show more fun stuff around this, uh, but uh, I think overall both these, what Fabio's team has been doing and we've been doing will kind of converge and, and I think it will be a great experience for most, most of the community. Um, also uh, offloaded uh, data type caching. This is for like large data sets, which uh, so flight currently only uh, calculates the hash values for caching using the references. Uh, so let's say if it's a large data set like a tensor or a big parquet file, or we only calculate based on the on the reference of the file. Um, it can be very expensive to calculate a hash for a large uh, data set. So now this is completely in the users, uh, and the users can, in the cases they want to, let's say let's say they generate a large data set, they can create a dynamic hash for it. Uh, and then that will be used for automatic uh, cache invalidation or cache creation downstream. So this is coming soon. Um, another feature which actually I've been we've been working with a couple teams on with is flight dex. Uh, flight dex is a concept of uh, like to allow a visualization of various components within a task at the end of a task execution. So here's an example. Uh, we integrate with uh, uh, great expectations. You cannot see the great expectations um, test results in, directly in the browser. So with this, you should be able to see all of that in the browser. Along with that, it's extendable enough that you can actually show, let's say if you want to show the top 10 rows of a data, of a Pandas data frame, or you want to show, uh, you want to create your own Plotly graph. All of that is covered within Flight Dex. And Flight Dex is, a, is completely static rendered page, so shareable uh, with every, anybody within the community and so on. So it, it's gonna be cool. The way we are progressing is initially, there will be a, uh, I don't wanna call it a POC, but an alpha release within FlightKit alone with our backend support, because that allows us to quickly you know, iterate on it. And then uh, and full backend support by probably the end of March. Uh, and then of course, lots of console improvements. I wanted to call out dynamic graph support because some people just in the community asked about this. Yes, it's coming. We're waiting on the flight, uh, not uh, sorry, React uh, graph component that we use, the library. They are waiting on a release. And so we are 
we are kind of behind them in the release pipeline, uh, but we might just take their beta and, and release it out. All right, uh, I will stop talking and we'll hand over to Varsha uh, and Miguel from, from the Woven Planet team to talk about how they use flight for uh, their autonomous vehicle workflows. And then uh, Fabio has some fun stuff about how to use HydraCore and, and uh, to actually just launch an end-to-end -end, you know, workflow for the users. So I think I'll stop there.